As crime soars in Seattle, the city's police department is struggling to hire more officers, and even the mayor admits the shortage in staffing could put the city in danger. We've already begun rolling out elements of our public safety plan. Part of that plan requires more officers. The depleted staffing we see today does not allow us to react to emergencies and crime with the response times that our residents deserve. 170 officers left the department in 2021, 180 left in 2022, that's 350, that's a lot of officers leaving, leaving less than 900 officers on the force right now, and that's not enough. Here to react is Seattle Police Officers Guild President Mike Solon. Good morning, Mike, thanks for being on with us. Good morning, Ainsley. Good Thanks morning. for having me on. You're welcome. I understand why you wanted to come on. I mean, I'm sure you're fearful. Crime is up here in New York, and I know us as moms, as parents, we're all scared. How are you feeling? What are your fears there? Well, as a Seattle resident, I'm concerned um, about the staffing shortages that you described. But it's not just localized to Seattle. I mean, this is these shortfalls of the short-sighted, naive approach of defunding. And as we claw our way out of the defunding nonsense, we're left with a profound gap in having enough officers. And Seattle is reminiscent of that overwhelming gap of lack of staffing. Mm -hmm. And just like we're competing with other major urban cities across the nation for qualify, qualified police officers to fill the uniform, we're struggling. And we only have about 880 officers ready to respond to your 911 call. And we're touching around 11 minutes for priority one response uh, times. Wow. And that is major emergency situations. So you can just imagine the fear of the residents of Seattle as they see the blight, the crime, the graffiti. It's absolutely out mm -hmm. of control. We're, v we're very, very concerned. And that's why we're extending the olive branch to the mayor to say, listen, let's work together. Let's move away from the defunding nonsense. And it seems like right now he's at least taking the public safety situation serious. Yeah, the politicians, they really did this. They wanted to defund, and now they're scrambling and that they're put in a bad position. I know they were offering bonus uh, opportunities or bonus checks for, for cops a year ago with the last mayor, but that money ran out. What are the politicians saying now? Are they regretting calling for defunding? Well, right now it's clear that the mayor is trying to pivot to uh, improve relations with the city council as the police budget is tied to the council. And it was the council that pushed the defunding nonsense. Now we've seen... Uh, an election take where we have new, I guess, new people in the council in terms of trying to change the message there. And that's the whole goal. Let them understand that defunding is nonsensical and we need to support police officers. No longer can police officers be blamed for society's woes. We're just mm -hmm. human beings that want to do the job of policing. We're tired of being politically targeted. It's now we actually welcome police officers, value them, especially in Seattle, for us to climb out of the defunding hole that, unfortunately, these politicians put us in and major urban cities across the nation in. Yeah, San Francisco fought back against the school board. You continue to fight because maybe we can bring higher salaries, more police officers in and support them. Thank you so much for being on with us and what you do. Hey, Ainsley, I really appreciate you highlighting this. You're welcome. Thank you for coming on.